In this lecture, we are going to study evolution, objective, nature and philosophy of human resource management. HRM is the management of people working in an organization. It is a subject related to human. Human resource management is the function within an organization that focuses on recruitment, management and providing direction for the people who work in the organization. HRM can also be performed by line. Human resource management is a function in organization which is designed to maximize employee performance in service of their employees' strategies and objectives. HR is primarily concerned with how people are managed within organization, focusing on policies and system. Let us look at nature of human resource management which is the process of bringing people and organization together so that the goal of each are met. The various features of human resource management are Human resource management tries to help employees develop their potential fully and encourages employees to give their best to the organization. Human resource management tries to put employees on assigned job in order to produce good results. It helps an organization meet its goal in the future by providing for competent as well as motivated employees. It is a multidisciplinary activity utilizing knowledge and input drawn from psychology, economics, etc. Now what are the objectives of human resource management? Human resource management objectives are to help the organization to reach its goal, to ensure effective utilization and maximum development of human resources. The objective of human resource management is to ensure respect for human beings and to identify and satisfy the needs of individual. It is to ensure reconciliation of individual goals with those of the organization to achieve and maintain high morale among employees. Another objective of human resource management is to provide organization with well-trained and well-motivated employees to develop and maintain quality of work life. It is to eth ethically and socially responsive to the needs of society, to enhance employees' capabilities to perform present job to equip employees with precision and clarity in transaction of business. The human resource management philosophy is based on following beliefs. Human resource is the most important asset in an organization and can be developed and increased to an unlimited extent. A healthy climate with values of openness, enthusiasm, Trust, mutuality and collaboration is essential for developing human resource. Human resource management can be planned and monitored in ways that are beneficial both to the individual and the organization. Employees feel committed to their work in organization if the organization gives a feeling of belongingness. Employees feel highly motivated if the employees provide us for satisfaction of their basic and higher level of needs. Employee commitment is increased with the opportunity to discover and use one's capability and potential in one's work. Let's have a look at evolution of human resource management. The early part of century saw a concern for improved efficiency through careful design of work. During the middle part of century, which emphasis shifted to the employee's productivity, recent decades have focused on increased concern for the quality of working life, total quality management, and workers' participation in management. These three phases may be termed as welfare development and empowerment. The evolution of human resource management can be classified into three categories. In period before industrial revolution, the society was primarily an agriculture economy with, with limited production.
The number of specialized craft was limited and was usually carried out within a village or community. Communication channels were limited in the period before Industrial Revolution. The next period is the period of Industrial Revolution where Industrial Revolution marked the conservation of economy from agriculture based to the industry based. Modernization and increased means if communication gave way to industrial setup. A department was set up to look into workers' wages, welfare and other related issues. In this period, the worker working in the industries or factories were subjected to long working hours and very less wages. Due to which workers across the world started protests and which led to the establishment of labor unions. Theories associated with human resource management are explained in this section. Frederick W. Taylor gave principles of scientific management which led to the evolution of scientific human resource management approach. This approach is involved in maintaining wages, providing training and better productivity. McGregor defined a theory X manager. In this theory, where most people do not like working, as workers are not smart or creative, people do not care about organization growth and will only work when there are promises for reward and potential punishment. Theory X manager was based on belief that people want to have direction in order to evade responsibility. The activities performed by HR department are the selective recruitment of employees is major component handled by human resource. This involves searching for the right people to fit a specific role. Employees require individual instruction when assigned to a specific role. The development of training program will provide valuable skill, education and the teaching of various protocol is handled by human resource. Human resource representative are responsible for ensuring employee which are afforded opportunity to give help when needed. Developing and testing the health and safety protocol in the company prevents accident and is required by the law. Human resource representatives make sure their business is in compliance with the state of health and safety laws. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.